eyes are on Hurricane Irma right now and the storm's projected path. But as Irma gets closer to civilization, some communities are still recovering from Hurricane Harvey. There is so much more that needs to be done to help survivors of Harvey get back on their feet. Anna Belleval is at the Red Cross headquarters in Chicago with more on what you can do to help out. Anna? Hi, we are specifically in the emergency operations centers, and these folks deal with those volunteers that are all over our country from the Red Cross. And right now we want to talk to one of them who hails from Highland Park and is in the Dallas area helping with the aftermath of Hurricane Harvey. Her name is Suzanne Peter. Suzanne, it's Anna. How are you? Okay, I'm doing great. Uh, so tell me, how long have you been volunteering for the Red Cross? Um, not too long, since May. Since May. So I think you started locally, right? That's correct. Um, the flooding in Lake County happened, so that was my first response. And then tell me, why did you decide to go to Texas? Yeah, you know, I helped out here, you know, in Lake County, and you know, there, that was my community, and you know, I. There are other people in need. There are people who need us really bad, and we are here to help. How are you helping in Dallas? Because I understand that a lot of folks from Houston who've been affected are being moved to Dallas, which wasn't in the path of the hurricane. Tell me what's going on there. What are you seeing? How are you helping out? They are sheltering a lot of people here. Um, so I've been helping staff a kitchen at one of the shelters. So, you know, they're able to recover here and, you know, get a plan together for when they do return to Houston. Right, right, because the recovery has to continue and they have to go home. This is just permanent. Suzanne, how has this impacted you? I've heard this is very rewarding work, but it also can be emotionally draining. And people have to remember, volunteers don't get paid. This is, their, this is your own time. Tell me a little bit about how it's affected you. You know, I, it's not draining to me. Um, in fact, seeing all the random acts of kindness from people has been very inspiring. Uh, one evening, we had a bunch of superheroes show up to entertain the kids at the shelter, and that just made their night. Wow, that's outstanding. Suzanne, we appreciate what you're doing and what the thousands of volunteers are doing in the Harvey area and are getting ready to do the same for Irma, which is uh, now um, attacking the Caribbean, for lack of a better word. What are we doing here at the Red Cross today? Well, we want to continue helping uh, people that have been affected by Harvey. And the way you can do it today is by texting the word Harvey to 90999. Text the word Harvey to 90999 and you can make your donation there. Also, if you need more information of how the Red Cross takes care of these donations so they get to the people who are impacted the most, you could go to www.redcross.org. For now, that's it for me at the Red Cross headquarters in Chicago. Back to you guys. Thank you.